name you say, may you give me your blessing you and your daughter from his head. And for her head. And then after that, then when he, if he say no, and he say, hey! You pick me up We are so thankful that you guys have opened your door to bring us into your house. Man, what a what a time to come here to meet your family with family. I'm gonna pass this over to Bob now to do what he came here to do. I came here with my family, uh, with my mother and my and my other mother and my sisters and my brothers um, to bear witness to this uh, opportunity that God has given me to ask for your blessing and um, ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. But he couldn't, he still can say no. <laughs> no hard feelings. <laughs> if it was my daughter, I'll probably say no three times. <laughs> I only have one request from you. And I'm gonna tell you the same thing I told that gentleman over there. I would take a bullet for any four of these girls. If you are prepared to accept that same fate to my daughter, Take a rocket launch. <laughs> <laughs> both on the same page. It's late. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> gonna stay here. Ever since the laundromat, <laughs> when, when I saw you at the laundromat and you came over, you said that your dad has a nickname for me already. <laughs> I thought you were pretty crazy. <laughs> um, um, but I just want to thank you for being persistent and uh, for not, for never uh, leaving my side, even though know, there's some crazy nights. Never mind, you're crazy. Veronica Lynn Spisky. Will you marry me? Oh, all right. <laughs> I am overwhelmed and pain. I just can't thank you enough. And I'm wondering, oh, sweet darling, what did I do to deserve you? What did I say to make you? 